Hi, John Peak with Peak Brothers Painting here with your painting tip of the week. This is my little puppy, Hannah. Not too excited to be up here on TV, but I'll put her down. <laughs> All right, the very first thing as you're getting an interior room ready for paint is to clean the enamel surfaces, especially by switches. You get a lot of hand oil and things on there, and if you go to sand it without cleaning, you're just grinding the oil down into the surface. So. I'm using a little bit of crib cutter here, wiping around and cleaning this all up. All right. Okay. Let's stop. So the next step is to sand the surfaces. And because we're inside a house, I don't want to create a whole lot of dust. So what I do is use a squirt bottle with water and a little bit of Dawn dishwashing liquid. That helps to lubricate the surface and keep dust from flying. It also makes for very efficient sanding. This is a sanding sponge. It's got 180 grit there on one side and it's just a sponge. So I'm going to wet the sponge like that and I'm going to wet the surface like that and this will create a super smooth surface ready for paint. Oh, that's slick as a whistle. You know, I showed you the sanding sponge, but there's also sandpaper made by 3M. If you notice that it's purple, that means that it can handle getting wet. Really cool stuff. So I use this oftentimes to do my sanding. I'll wet the surface and wet this surface already. And this can be a little bit more aggressive. I'm using a, uh, a 100 grit here. But even though the 100 grit is, would normally be a little aggressive dry sanding, when you're wet sanding, you can use a more aggressive grit and still get a very smooth surface. And if it feels a little too rough for you, then go to a, go to a finer grit. Here again, I've got the 180. And there we go. The other nice thing about this is that if you're sanding water-based enamel, water-based enamel tends to ball up. If you use dry sandpaper and sand this, it balls up, it heats up, and you don't get a very smooth surface. When you're wet sanding, the surface stays cool, and you can sand and get a very, very smooth surface very quickly. So wet sanding, even if it weren't for the dust, uh, the dust uh, protection, it's worth doing because it's so much more efficient.